In this video, I'm going to be showing you on how to log in with a domain account on the Windows 10 that we have just recently um, joined in the domain. So let's go ahead and look at that. So currently I'm logged in on the Windows 10 PC. You can see in here I'm logged in with the account that I'm currently using, which is the local account. All right, so this is not part of the domain and this is the administrator account that has been created for this particular PC. So let's go ahead and sign this one out. And we should be seeing how to sign in with the domain. So how to do sign in in the domain would be clicking on the other user, typing in the domain name, and then backslash the particular particular username that you wanted to sign in to this particular PC. So it can be just a normal domain user account um, as I cannot remember the password for the normal domain user account. So I'll be just using the administrator one. All right, and let me just type in a password and proceed to log in. All right, so there you go. So once it's actually set up that account, it will automatically be logging in as administrator under the KLSO domain. So you can see automatically that this is a KLSO administrator and it's an administrator of that particular um, domain. Okay. So what if you wanted to go back to the local administrator that you um, had um, earlier or previously? So let's go ahead and see whether we can actually see that in to our options over here when we're logging in. All right, so it's actually missing now. So it only has one account that it can retain and the next one will be other user. And then you can see from here, I can sign in under KLSO domain, right? So I can press this if I wanted to get more information, but if you would like to use your local account again, you can just put a dot and a backslash and then the name of the account that you are using previously. And then you can see down right here, you can see that the sign in to PC1 is now appearing. So earlier, if I didn't put any dot backslash into it, it would be logging in as KLSO domain, as you can see from there. So what will happen is that it will query the domain and ask, do you have DocuWorks as the, um, you know, as the username in there. And if it doesn't have it, then you will get an error. So let's try that out. So let me go ahead and try that out, see whether that will work out for us. So you can see, right, incorrect username and password because it can't see it under the KLSO domain. So let's try this one down and use the local account. So automatically we'll go to PC1. So once we do have a local account set up, automatically it will be um, available for us. So let's hope that it does work. So yeah, it does work and let me log in. So right now I, I'm back to sign in and you can see here uh, that this is a DocuWorks local account. All right, so if you do have any other questions, you can let me know. I'll be happy to see what I can do for you. Um, else, um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.